Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand algorithm analysis examples. The basic concepts related to analysis of algorithms like time complexity, asymptotic notations, order of growth. So all those basic concepts has already been explained in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because without understanding what we have discussed in those, close, in those classes, you may not be able to understand what we are going to discuss in this class. And every video on our channel is going to be a part of entire course or playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to this class uh we will take these examples and we will try to analyze what is the uh, what is the order of growth of these algorithms not time complexity order of growth okay so here we are having an algorithm we, this algorithm is the sum of two elements two uh, values and it is going to return uh, the sum of those uh, values so uh, it is going to return the sum of two integers so let's so what is the amount of time taken by this here it is going to take one constant amount of time so only one this uh, only this line of code whatever the input may be so if you change the input values n number of times at every time it is going to execute only one line of code means one unit amount of time and within that unit amount of time we are going to get the output so what is that what does that mean it means that it is going to take constant amount of time so the efficiency of this algorithm is one it means that it is a constant amount of time and what does that mean so constant amount of means always it is going to take only one execution execution always it is going to take one unit of uh, amount of time to get the output no so it, it may ch it may change from algorithm to algorithm there may be three lines of code to get the output but for any input if it is taking only those three lines of code to execute to get the output then that is uh, that is called as uh, a constant amount of time we'll try to understand this by some of the examples and here this algorithm is even or odd given an algorithm this algorithm is going to find whether the given given number given number is even or odd number so to get that output we are going to execute only this line of code so how many times you give the input how, how many times you give the input the value of n may change n number of times or 10 number of times or 100 number of times every time to get the output it is getting executed only this line of code is getting executed and we are going to get the output this means it is a constant amount of time in this case only one line is getting executed so it is one so it is a constant the order of growth of this algorithm is constant okay so the next one is array first element we have to find the first element of the array for example here the uh, parameters are a, a array and the size of the array for example if we are having an array of five elements let's assume that uh, this is the array of uh, five elements and from this array given this array what this algorithm is going to find is what is the value of the first element so how to get the first elements here these these are the two lines of code which are getting executed to get the output here f is equal to a of i f is equal to a of i sorry a of 1 a of 1 means this one so this is what we want to get the first element sorry it is not a of 1 it is a of 0 a of 0 so the first element is 7 so to get that first element we have to take a of 0 a of 0 and that value will get assigned to f now we are going to return f we are going to return f to get the output so what does that mean is if the size of the array it may be 5 element array or 100 element array or 3 element array or 1000 element array whatever may be the input size you, you, you we are changing the input size uh, uh, with the change in the input size the number of steps that are executed are going to be constant try to get that point here the number of steps that are getting executed is constant and those con that constant value is 2 2 in order to get the output these two lines are to be executed so this is taking an amount of time of 2 okay so it is a constant amount of time uh, it is taking a constant amount of time to get the output and the next one is so this is an algorithm uh, this is an algorithm uh, 
where we are going to print the first n natural numbers first n natural numbers for example if you give 5 so what it is going to give is starting from 1 it is going to print first 5 natural numbers 1 2 3 4 5 this is what it is going to print for example if you give 6 so it is uh, for example if you give uh, 16 what it is going to print it is going to print 1 to 16 1 2 so on it is 16 the first n natural numbers will get printed so what is the output what is the efficiency of this algorithm see here so this line of code will get executed and uh, how many times does this line of code will get executed so that is very important how many times does this this will will get executed it is n plus 1 so as we have discussed that we are not going to consider these uh, 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 these uh, uh, lower order terms so within this algorithm itself we are going to uh, discard these lower order terms we will try to understand we'll from now on we are going to consider wherever we get the loop we are going to consider it as n number of times okay so this is going to get executed for n number of times every time this one also will get executed and this loop is going to iterate this is the deciding factor of this the efficiency of this algorithm if you consider this n plus n 2n so as we have discussed that we are not going to consider the coefficients of the higher order terms also so we are going to consider so what is the time complexity of this it is 2n plus 1 but what we have said is so we are not going to consider the coefficient of higher order terms and also the lower order terms only this one will get considered so the uh, the logic for this has been discussed in our previous video okay so this is going to take n number of comparisons in order to get the uh, output every time it is going to take n number of comparisons. what is the value of n that is given by the end user for example if he wants to print first 100 natural numbers the value of n is 100 so this is going to get executed for 100 number of times this algorithm in order to get the output this one will get executed 100 number of times to get the output is getting executed 100 times because this loop is going to iterate for 100 times so as it is iterating for 100 times the efficiency the time taken by this algorithm to get the output is 100 as it is executing 100 times this line of code is getting executed 100 times and it is uh, each each execution it is taking unit one unit amount of time so it is 100 units of time and uh, the execution time is n okay so the value given by the end user and what what kind of what type of order of growth it is it is linear okay linear uh, order of growth of this algorithm is linear okay so this is these are some of the examples in the next video we, we are going to cover lots of examples hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching